Guess I'll ask the first question. <laughs> you were the chosen. <laughs> Uh, well, I guess for everybody, what has this process been like for you guys, uh, you know, getting to know your, your team? I'm sure you know each other already in some ways, but preparing for a big uh, competition like this. I guess I'll start. <laughs> um, well, yeah, I think we all know each other very well. Um, we've all, I think, played with each other possibly on the team as well. Maybe not the exact same uh, people, but with each other at some point. Obviously, Coco and I spent a lot of time together on the court as well. So, um, in between tournaments and a crazy schedule, um, you know, I don't. I think we've taken a few days to just kind of, at least for Coco, me and Sonia, to like be home and relax a little bit. But um, yeah, we have you know some team things set up the next few days and. Again, I think we spend a lot of time together. So, we, I mean, I just saw Danielle and Katie quite a bit last week in Charleston. So, um, yeah, I think we, we all know each other pretty well and are pretty comfortable with each other. Coco, what is, you know, all, all you guys are so used to uh, the majority, unless you're playing doubles, you know, individual uh, goals and tennis and stuff like that. What has this, uh, has it been difficult to transition to this vibe of playing for a team and, and how, you know, exhilarating has it been? or uh, you know, how much of a transition has it been? Um, not really. I mean, we all want to win. We all like to win, so uh, we don't make that difficult for us. And, you know, tennis is a unique sport. Like, even though you feel on the team, like on a team, you know, when you step on the court, you're, you're back in that mindset you are for the rest of the season. Um, if anything, the team environment makes it even more entertaining and even more fun. Um, because you do have teammates on the sideline cheering for you and you're cheering for te teammates on the sideline. Um, so, no, I don't think it's been a difficult. And like Jess said, we know each other pretty well on and off the court. Spent a lot of time with Jess, spent a lot of time with Katie, um, and was on the team with Danielle and Sonia at different times um, before. So, uh, yeah, we all know each other fairly well, so it's not that difficult. <laughs> yeah, uh, I mean, you're all Flor Floridians now. Just with this rain the last few days and... <laughs> possibly continuing, how shocked are you at this time of year that the weather isn't cooperating? It's a little bizarre, it's raining so much. Like, yeah. I feel like it's it's usually more in the summer we get this kind of rain. This is like cooler weather and it's like actually spring. So it's kind of throwing me off a little bit, but I think um, at least for my sake in Charleston, I had a lot of rain delays. In Miami, I had a lot of rain delays. So <laughs> just bought the I'm rain. just, yeah, <laughs> yeah apparently I, I, bought the, I brought the rain and I, I feel accustomed to it now, so. Um, but yeah, it's, it's a little, it makes it tough to get some practice in this week, but I think both teams are kind of in the same boat with that, and uh, hopefully the weather will be good, you know, Friday and Saturday. Hello, Kathy. Uh, I want to ask your um, teammate here, Coco, it's very local for you. Uh, what's it mean to have a, a competition of this size in Delray Beach? Um, it means a lot. I was super excited when I found out the tie was going to be here. Um, a lot, I have a lot of family coming, and uh, it's special to be in your home country playing, but even more in your home city. So I'm super excited for Friday and Saturday. What will that dynamic be like for you? You're not used to having so many family and friends watching that live. Mm -hmm. Um, it's going to be the same. I, I mean, I'm not expecting any, anything different. They know how to behave in a tennis match. So, um, and I also in Miami, the pretty much the same crew was there. So, uh, yeah, it's not going to be too different. They know to leave me alone when I'm, uh, I guess, you know, in that zone and, and everything. So, uh, it might be a little bit louder since they, I told them they can cheer a little bit more in a Fed Cup atmosphere. Um, but no, I think they've been to enough tennis matches in the past, even in juniors. Um, so they, they won't be too loud. Uh, Kathy, this one is for uh, this one's for you. Uh, oftentimes in this competition, you come up against a lot of teams that you and, and the players might know really well. For a team like Austria that you haven't played, the U.S. hasn't played since 2004. How is it different to kind of scout or you know get familiar with players that you all might not see as much? Yeah, I think you know it comes back to just concentrating on our games and uh, preparing as we would uh, for another tie. We obviously know their number one player. Um, she's she's a quite a good player, and um, so we definitely have scouted her. But, um, you know, we're going to – we've been pre preparing as best we can with the rain, and so have they, and um, it's about competing on that day and concentrating on what we do best. And, um, you know, whatever we see as we go on, we'll, we'll – we can make tweaks, but, you know, we're going to – go out, we can't take them lightly because we know what can happen in Billie Jean King Cup. We respect them and, um, 
you know, we can't ever underestimate our opponents. They're, they've come here, they've got one, one team with one goal as well. And we know that Billie Jean King Cup play can bring out the best in players. So we're expecting them to be at their best and um, hopefully we're at ours. Kathy, uh, I always thought the Fed Cup was a pretty boring name. Now we've got rid of that and it's got a great name. Talk a little bit about um, Billie Jean because you grew up when she was at her, you know, pomp. Yeah, well, I mean, you know, Billie Jean, she's amazing. She's amazing to this day. I mean, she always makes time for everybody. Um, she's always texting me. She's always supporting. Um, she goes above and beyond. Um, and, and besides that, what she's done and um, for all of us sitting up here and, and for all women, uh, it's, it's quite incredible. So we're very appreciative. We're excited when we see her. She, she comes and supports us and she supports everybody. Um, now that her name's on there, she, she can't show too much to the uh, American team, but uh, we know where her heart is, I think. But, um, you know, we're excited to see her. Uh, yeah, Coco, what was the decision on not playing in Charleston? Did you just want to have more time at home and want, you know, because you were in Miami or what, what went into that? Um, well, I knew I wasn't going to play Charleston at the beginning of the season, so it wasn't really a decision based off Miami Open or anything. It was just a scheduling decision. I wanted to play Stuttgart, which will be um, right after this. So, yeah, it was, it was a decision I made before the year started. Um, every player has their kind of schedule that they make, and then everything changes. Maybe if I lost early in doubles in Miami, I maybe would have tried to play. But, um, no, I knew um, in the offseason last year that I wasn't going to play Charleston. I mean, I think you always kind of feel it, but um, especially at the beginning um, when you do the walkouts and everything, it's always, I think, pretty emotional. But like Coco said before, when you kind of go back into that setting of just you and another person across the court, you do sink back into that, okay, I need to win this match. This is like what I do, you know, 99% of the year. And um, so I think you always kind of come back to that. But of course, I think you're always kind of balancing, you know, your emotions of playing for a team and a country um, and not just yourself. And I think that's always different for, for everybody. Um, I always quite enjoyed it and I think it's a fun atmosphere. I love playing on a team and I love team events. So for me, it's extra motivation and extra, extra fun, but I think everyone's different. I'm not sure what you guys would say. Well, when I played for my country, it was some of the best weeks of my career, actually. The most fun weeks of my career, just getting to know um, the players on a different level, having that one, one goal, but, and also knowing that um, they were there to pick me up or I was there to pick them up. Um, like just that it's extra motivation. Um, you know, when you're playing for your country and for teammates, you're gonna fight you know, you don't want to let anybody down, that's for sure, when, rather than it's just yourself. You're playing for something much bigger than yourself. So uh, those weeks were always super special. Um, you know, everybody was excited to be picked and disappointed when they weren't. Um, and so, um, which is always the toughest role of a captain is picking the team. So, um, you know, just it brings back a lot. Now, you know, to be here as captain, it's just uh, extra special. Oh uh, yeah, I definitely agree with that. Um, you do like, especially in the walkouts when you're hearing your anthem being played. Um, don't really hear it too often in tennis, to be honest. So um, it adds. It's not like a football game or a basketball game where they play it before the, every game. Um, so it adds a little extra sauce to it, I guess. And it does make you a little bit nervous. But um, like Jess said, I feel like once you step on the court, for me, it's once the warm up is over, you realize nothing's changed. Um, it's just you and the lines and in the ball. Um, I don't even you don't even want to think about the opponent, to be honest, because um, I think uh, if you take if we take care of our end of the court, um, we'll be successful this weekend. As a follow up um, to the question about Billie Jean King, uh, this year the U.S. Open is celebrating 50 years of equal prize money uh, for men and women tennis players. So for the, the three of you who kind of are three generations of U.S. women's tennis, what does it mean you know, to you to have Billie kind of around at, at these events and just what are your reflections on 
you know, being, having the opportunities that you have and have continued to have as a result of what she's done? Well, you know, I'm the oldest, I'll go first. <laughs> um, like I said before, it's, it's incredible. And um, I think each generation, it's gotten bigger and better and for women and, um, you know, Billie Jean obviously played a huge role in that. But then to have her around, you know, I think you just have to really enjoy every moment with her. You always learn from her. She has so much uh, energy. It's, it's absolutely incredible. Uh, she's everywhere, you know, and she's uh, still doing so much um, to push, push forward. So um, just when I see her, I just really enjoy every moment uh, that I have with her. Um, I enjoy every moment that I have with these uh, women and, um, and do my best for the women coming, the, young, the youngest ones coming up um, as head of women's tennis for USTA to, you know, to make an impact in their lives um, you know, as, as that generation, as Billy and many others have made on mine. I hope that I can um, continue to give back in that way um, and, you know, and inspire. Um, I think that's what we all hope to do and keep making our sport and uh, better and better. Um, yeah, I'll guess I'll go. Um, yeah, I think. She's second oldest. Oh. <laughs> do you want me to go? No, no, no. <laughs> I, no it's okay. Um, no, I, yeah, Billie Jean, she's great. Uh, she's always, like Kathy said, so much energy. Um, and she's always pushing women's sports. I saw that she was at the Final Four for the women's NCAA. And um, I, like, I just love like what she does, co constantly pushing women's sports, and not only in tennis, um, but other areas in the world, too. Um, I think the way tennis has come and how far it's come compared to other sports, she definitely is a huge role in that and taking, um, I guess, the sacrifice that she did when she did um, for the bigger picture. I'm forever grateful for that. And yeah, I think tennis, especially compared to other women's sports, I think we're leading in that when it comes to equal prize money and, and fan base and, and all of that. And I think I credit a lot of that to her. Um, so I'm super proud uh, to be playing in the Billie Jean King Cup and hopefully um, we'll make her proud and, and do something for her legacy. Oh, wait, Jess, did you want to answer that? Yeah. Oh, I don't have to. You guys <laughs> said everything. I feel like okay. perfect. So there's not really much for me to add okay. on. Okay. Sorry. <laughs> um, I'm not hosting anything. I do. We haven't been invited for dinner. <laughs> yeah, I do, no, we haven't. I really. do have a... <laughs> I'm not hosting anything, but I do have I do have a team gift for them that I, I haven't given to them yet, but I do have that. <laughs> oh, I don't have anything. Cause she's just, she's showing me up. It's okay. I didn't have anyone invited us for dinner. Yeah, Jess. Yeah, you know, I, also I haven't, here, I haven't but... gotten invited by Jess. Yeah, we were supposed to do something at their Miami. We never yeah, did. I know. Oh God, <laughs> we just go home. Get sick, ladies. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you.